Hey, welcome back to Flare Court Media. I'm Jason, and today we have another unboxing here. Uh, I've recently decided that I was kind of tired of my microphone sitting on the desk here, as most uh, anyone who cares about audio uh, will agree with me, because uh, you might notice anytime you have a mouse or anything, it's picking up all the noises. So we're, what I ordered is a, a microphone stand. So I just thought I'd show you. Uh, this one is, I got it on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description for this particular one. Um, professional recording microphone stand. There's not really a brand on it, but uh, had pretty good ratings. Uh, and it looks like it's made to handle the Yeti, which is kind of a heavy microphone. So I thought I'd kind of show you what it's like. No instructions. I guess they just kind of expect you to be able to figure it out. Oh, maybe there's some on here. Uh, this is much smaller than I thought. So we have the stand itself right there. Just a normal microphone holder. Uh, a clamp. So this is going to go on your desk. Things sticking out of there. And Velcro, probably for cable management. And then the thing that makes uh, it work for the Yeti is it has this little brass fitting on it. And this is designed to screw into the bottom of the microphone. Now some Yetis were not properly sized. They were drilled with something that doesn't quite fit this. So hopefully mine um, is a normal standard size. If not, I heard that just a little bit of electrical tape would work. So we'll have to see if we need that. All right, Whoop. so let's take a look here. Um, Uh, sorry about this. So I may end up switching to the camera mic. Uh, I just wanted to have this running so that you could actually hear uh, some of what a person is trying to compete with and why you might want one of these. Uh, something kind of like that. I guess we got a screw up here. It's supposed to kind of lock it in place, I guess. Just kind of lock it into place. Anyway, there's that. This, another lock. Just for a point of reference, this is what the microphone picks up when you're mousing or anything. I especially think, you know, anyone who's gaming and trying to have their microphone on their table is going to really appreciate this. Uh, for me, it's just to kind of get it up out of the way so I can continue to work, um, that type of thing. So we'll stop that, pull the power. I have been really happy with the Yeti. I didn't realize that they made a pro version. I wish I'd known that because I would have sprung the extra 50 bucks for it because the pro version has an XLR output. Um, this one only has headphone out. Uh, I mean, obviously you can use the USB DAC option as well, but it'd be nice just to be able to record, uh, pass it through my XLR uh, mixing station I have. Fortunately, I have the standard size screw, mine was made properly. And then we'll come here, and thread that back on. The one thing I don't like about the Yeti is it does require a computer all the time. There's no, it has no ability to process audio without being plugged in. So they're just using tension screws everywhere. Nothing actually locks into place. That was quite as many degrees of movement as I was hoping. Oh, there we go. I just have to be brave. So something kind of like that. All right, this microphone should be working now. Um, we'll go ahead and try this out again and see if it does anything better. The nice thing is I can have it on this table and work on my main desk over there. And hopefully the vibrations will be kept to a minimum. But it definitely puts it kind of more in my face as I'm trying to read my script. I don't have to have the microphone on my desk. Um, so I think it's a pretty good deal here and we can just kind of, you know, wiggle it around and put it wherever we need to. Thanks a ton for watching. Uh, as always, please give it a like or uh, subscribe. Right now I'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers so that I can do YouTube slash some proper name instead of YouTube slash random characters. Uh, again, like I said, if you want to buy this item, I'll have a link down in the description. 
Until next time, I hope to see you again, and thanks for watching.